Hello, this is H.C. Bailey, and welcome to the Pure Land, and let's play Final Fantasy Legend 3! Let's check out this town over here that Dion went to. I don't think they ever tell you the name of it, but I think it's called Darius or something like that. Oh, nuts. Yeah, since the hover units broke, we can't even use our travel magic, so we're kind of stuck here right now. It kind of limits our options, I'm afraid. Hmm, I wonder if that was the crew from the, uh, the Talon 2 or something like that. I don't think they ever really say. I suppose it doesn't really matter. Hmm, well maybe we should keep an eye out for them. I'll just hop right over you if you don't mind like that. Yeah, I always thought the Pure Land would be, like, uh, uh, different. You know, I always thought it would be like the Q Continuum or, like, uh, the Liquid Space in Star Trek Voyager or something like that. But it's just another dimension or another world in our way. A big world, that is. Anyway, we get the heal magic, so let's give that to Curtis there. That can cure any status ailment. That's why I didn't buy, buy it earlier. Oh, it looks like I got a little bit of a port here. So you can use a ship, but you can't use dive magic. Huh. Yeah, that means uh, it has to wait for the plot device to clear. That, that's what they mean by that, not the weather. So let's take a look at what they got at the shops here. They got some pretty good stuff here. Now, we've already gotten the earrings. I do want to get diamond shields all around, so let's get those. They got the best defense and magic defense right now. Let's see, we get a diamond helmet and diamond boots for Sharon there. The nice thing about diamond equipment... Let's take a look there. Okay, you see the elemental resistances there? Let's give a diamond shield to Arthur there. Okay, so that doesn't look like it helped his defense much at all. But if you look at his elemental protections, now he has protection from ice and tornado because diamond equipment, just like any other Final Fantasy game, protects you from thunder, which is ice and tornado elemental in this game. So you pretty much for the remainder of the game, you want to have some sort of diamond equipment equipped on everyone. I'll just equip, well, I suppose I could show you the difference with Sharon there, but I'll equip the rest of the stuff off screen here. Let's see. Eh, it's a little better on defense there. And no, no. Where is it? There we go. Now, even though the diamond boots are better, like you could give it to Curtis there, the Geta boots still have a plus five speed bonus. So that's why I'm still going to keep those on him there. Let's see, I think there's something we want to get at the weapon shop while we're here too. Okay, we got dragon swords if you've got a human. That could be good. Psychic gun for multiple mutants. ATM cannons. I don't care. What are they going to do? Shoot money at my enemies? But we do want to get a smother. That is a great weapon for beasts. That is where, this is where beasts really start to take off compared to what humans could do with like a dragon sword at this point in time. Now if you've been doing a ton of level grinding, well then yeah, humans are probably going to start outpacing beasts there. But since I really haven't been doing too much of that, we should be in pretty good shape there. Let's see. You know, I don't think they even have anything new there, so I'm just going to skip that. Let's head on over to the bar. Maybe they know where, uh, who are we looking for? We're looking for Faye and Diane's looking for the advance team, I think he said. Okay, well, Diane's looking for Borgen, so I, I don't care about him. Old loser. Oh, so that's where, uh, maybe that's where they took Faye, because they said they needed her to, uh, get out that Excalibur there. But yeah, I mean, this is a pretty big world here in, uh, Pure Land here. It's the final world of the game, but, I mean, it's really more like the halfway point in the game. We've got a lot of stuff to do here. So, uh, what I want to do is take a moment to, uh, rest up at the inn, sell my excess equipment, and then we'll explore more of where we can go around here. Of course, if you don't want to spend your money on the inns here, then you could always just rest up at the berths on the town there, but yeah. Okay, so I've equipped everyone with everything. Here's just some extra stuff that I'm holding on to, the psychic sword and the speed armor to equip them during boss fights when I might really need more of a speed boost. I'm also keeping on the, a hold on the ice shield. And of course, all those crystals, I just threw at the bottom of my item list so I don't have to worry about them for a while. So let's see where else we can go around here. Nice trees. Oh, there's another little village. Let's check it out. Whoa! Boss fight already? No, no, they just have the boss fight music going on around here. Hey, how's it going? 
Oh, yeah, what about her? Itar, Itar, whatever. The North Maze. Oh, okay. Oh, no. Okay, yeah, we'll kill the dog. Catnip? Oh, okay, so we gotta get catnip in order to dis in order to uh, make the cats fall asleep? Wouldn't catnip draw the cat guards towards me? Eh. But anyway, yeah, these people are stone. We can push them around because, well, they're stone. But yeah, they're, they're, they're like, I don't know, mummy cats or something like that. Get out of my way! Yeah, you don't want to talk to them or try to jump over them. Uh, you'll have to fight them then. That would be bad. Ah, nice fire going while everyone is stoned. Hmm. I'm sure he's not important at all. Oh, and they got a TV in the background there. <laughs> I don't know why, that just seemed funny to me. Push. And, hmm, looks like we hit a dead end. Where could that tree be? Could it be through this secret passage? Yeah, you go through that broken part of the fence there, and you can get the catnip. I don't know if you necessarily need to get it, but it's there. Okay, so now we got the catnip. Let's head on up to the North Maze, then. Or we could fight some new enemies here. Why not? Yeah, that's the uh, Talon using, uh, well, it's cannon weapon there, so there you are. Now we gotta take these guys out. Uh, I don't think they have any particular immunity, so let's just go all out. Uh, yeah, let's go with Quake. Why not? Quake. What? Oh, there we go. And get the drop on them. Oh, yeah, they got a counterattack, I guess. Yeah, my Quake, or Curtis's Quake, not so useful. Maybe I should have used Dispel. Yeah, you see, uh, what is it, the dive. I think that was the dive attack they used on me. Well, whatever it was, uh, it gives, it's a tornado elemental, so that protects her against it. Wow, look at that damage from Arthur there. He was dealing like in the 200s with his last weapon, so yeah, that's pretty good. Beasts are gonna start getting some really good uh, uh, martial arts moves in this world. Oh, maybe I shouldn't be using drop on them. That's a bad idea. Okay, well maybe I should use freeze or something else on them. Okay, well I just figured I'd show you how the Talon works, or with its cannon weapon there. And we can get even better weapons later on. Let's see, how can I use that? Nice little seed icon. Is catnip a seed? The world may never know. But apparently I still get to fight uh, kitties anyway. Uh, let's see, do they have an instant death attack? I forget. No, no, I'm thinking of their cousins later in the game. But they don't have any... any moves that I'm particularly concerned about. No, neither of them. Just take them out. Let's see... Oh, you know what? Maybe I should use stone, because the spell isn't a guarantee. But we do got enough enemies to warrant using Quake there, instead of, like, a psychic gun or something like that. Wow! Yeah, we're starting to get real powerful here now. Well, first we gave them catnip, then we got them stoned again. Sounds like a plan. What is it, what is it with the mummy cats, though, or the artwork of the enemies in this game in general? I mean, it's like they decided to make the silliest thing possible. Whoa, that didn't even finish them off? Wow, um, maybe I should use Dispel or something. Now, she has a psychic gun equipped, so I can actually target a group of monsters if I want to. That might not be a bad idea. Yeah, I see Sharon's starting to go first now, ever since I gave her all those agility capsules. Oh, baby! She's amazing now. I wonder why all these martial arts moves use a punch when, I mean, it's just smother. Why would that be called a punch? I don't know, it's probably lost in the translation or something like that. Yeah, we can just push these uh, cat guards around now. So we don't have to worry about them anymore. Let's see, I think we want to climb around clockwise. Don't worry about your MP in this area. You, you probably won't run out. It's very short. This is like one of the only screens. Uh, no? We want to go left, I think. Don't we? Yes, there we go. 
Yeah, you do need the catnip to push this guard out of the way and get to this hidden treasure. Wizard robe, it boosts your magic power by five, but I'm not terribly interested in that. I'm just interested in rescuing Faye. Next time on Let's Play Final Fantasy Legend 3. This is H.C. Bailey, signing off. Have a good day.